check this out y'all look at this may not be the color scheme that you like but let me tell you what this little thing is badass it is nice look at the snorkels on the back of it look at that it has three snorkels those are uh, so you can drive this sucker in the water see look at the engine even the engines like covered up in some kind of like case kind of thing it's like all the engines like all up in here and stuff man this thing is badass looking oh look an LED wrapped oh, it's an LED wrapped uh, light that's cool and this thing's nice awesome I can't wait to take this sucker out for a spin look it even got speakers Let's look at the stereo unit up in it. Oh. Alright, so it's actually working. This one actually works. And yeah, the LEDs in the base look pretty cool. I like it. Huh. Yeah, I know you guys have already seen this. I know. But, this is the new one. And, of course, I have to test it. Make sure that it's actually going to work. I would like to build a super version of this. And that leads me to today's video. We're going to build a super version of this. So make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Because we're going to have some fun today. Or tonight. This evening. Tomorrow. Whatever day it is. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys what was in here, right? This is the, uh, a reservoir and pump combo by Freeze Mod. Um... Uh, I would like to use this, but I, I just haven't just found out what. Oh no. I mean, it, it's, it's a beautiful piece. It really is. It's branded nicely and everything. You know, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful pump and reservoir. Um, I just haven't had a, a where to put it at yet. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I'll incorporate it to this thing. Uh, I don't know. I already got two of these that I want to use. So, but this is going to be cool. This is going to be real cool. Fittings. So we have fittings um, enough to just about to do anything we wish to do with. Uh, like, I mean, I got like a whole pouch of brand new compression fittings. Uh, quite a bit. You know, these are all different fittings, different sizes different shapes a lot of this left over from the build uh, so I mean I got enough fittings now where I could probably build two computers if not more a lot of stuff in here so anyway what I would uh, like to do because they sent us a new one of these here's the old one the old one I still have in here but it's kind of tore apart and stuff um, I would like to combine them build something different uh, so I have two radiators up here these are oh no don't drop it whoa damn drop this it's okay problem avert it what's in here what's in here Oh, another radiator's in there. Wow, I got a lot of... And then, uh, quick disconnects. And then up here, those are all, uh, 360 radiators. Big boys. Um, but we're, we're not doing nothing with them. But anyway, um, I would like... Two big radiators. What I would like to do is convert something to where... See, this is a very simple unit. It has one pump one radiator circulates the water cools it puts it back out 
I want to supercharge that. I want dual of it. So I was thinking about going with two of the 240 radiators, two of the 120 radiators, and then two pumps and have a central unit to it, which if we come over here, see here's the other pump that I already got pulled out. If we come over here, we have, uh, this is the other half of my box. This is where I keep um, RGB stuff, brand new RGB stuff, um, you know, like this. This is still in the tube. We haven't opened that yet. Um, this right here, this is another pack that I haven't opened yet. Um, this is a controller that we've just got in. So, uh, but anyway, what was I looking for? I was looking for that filter. I don't know what I did with it. I think I showed it to you guys before. It was a bi bypass filter. Oh, I almost forgot. Check this out. Look what I got. Check these out. These are so cool. Look. See it? They're adjustable, right? You're thinking, well, what does this go to? This goes to these. So, for instance, let's say we have the radiator and we want it to be upright like that. That's what this comes into handy for. You mount it. See? It goes in between like that and it holds the radiators up. And I bought two pairs of these so that way I can that way I can hold up two two radiators. And they're universal. They work on all radiators. Uh, these were like maybe 12 or 20 bucks a piece, something like that. And you get two to a kind. Um, so I was just like, well, I'm going to need two, two, two sets of those. So I got four of them. But yeah, they're uh, little stands for your radiators. Pretty cool, right? Alright, so this is how far I've gotten so far. Man, I'm excited. This is starting to look good. Woo, let's go. Yes, check it out. So, what we got so far. We have one pump. Runs it through into the mesh filter. You'll be able to see the water flow go through that. Come back out. Run back into another pump. And this pump is going to blast it back that way where... I will have the radiator sitting. So you'll have one here, one here, and I would really, really, like I said earlier, I want to incorporate the littler ones as well. I'm just having um, kind of a tricky time trying to figure out how I want the loop to run. So you guys make sure to smash me that like for this effort, and we'll keep going at it. All right, so I'm starting to work on the radiators, and you can see how I got them plumbed together with a flow meter in the middle. Well, I want to run them like this. Here, let me show you. I want to run them in the upright position. The problem is, is my new brackets don't allow it to run in this position. It only allows them to run in that position, laying down. So, what I'm doing is, is I'm making some brackets. Here, let me show you. Okay, I make some brackets. And then I'm going to position them and then screw them down through the plexiglass. And that will keep the radiator in the upright position. Cool, right? So look, it is attached. That is not going anywhere. Shut up, damn camera. But yeah, it is starting to look decent. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I just got done painting it black. It looks damn good, too. Good shine to it. 
This might actually turn out to be an awesome project that we keep around. But yeah, just going to kind of let it sit there and dry. And then I will get those mounts. We'll spray paint them black, take it apart, clean them, spray them black, put it back together. And then we will reassemble the body and all of that. And hopefully we can get it all wired up and get it done by the end of the day. This is going to be awesome. Didn't I mention to leave me a like? Too bad y'all can't leave like double likes, you know what I mean? Like double, triple likes. I liked the video so damn much I triple liked it. I don't know, maybe y'all could just help me out and share it on Facebook or something. You can still see it's not 100% dark. I just gotta let that dry and then I'll coat it again. Cool. Always doing projects around here. So what we're doing now is we're just trying to help it along by drying using a blow dryer. It just kind of helps dry it out faster. That's all. Alright, so there you have it. I'm not done with it right now. I just kind of got it put together and hooked up. I have this huge pile of wires that I have no idea what to do with. It is starting to get dark. It's starting to get late. So I am done. We will pick this video up later. Um, I hope you guys like it. It looks cool as shit, right? I think it looks cool. Um, basic idea. Water comes out runs through the filter which is what this is you'll see the water go in and out through enter the second pump this pump will then pump it into the reservoir this reservoir will then transfer it through the flow meter through the extension into the next radiator it will then go in the radiator come out of the radiator and back into the pump and the loop will just recycle and keep going um, I thought it was cool Definitely deserves a like in my book. What do y'all think? Make sure to leave me that like. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for watching. I really do, man. Um, it's just, like I said, it's starting to get kind of late outside right now. So I just need to call it a day. Uh, it's going to look cool once I get those pumps hooked up and stuff, right? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I got Minecraft to do, and uh, Neebs Gaming uploaded a new video, so I got to check that out. So I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching, and as always, you guys be cool. Thanks for watching, and as always, you guys be cool, and I'll see you all in the next one. There will be a part two to this video, so you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and get subscribed now. Alright guys, I'll check you all later. Be cool.